Today is a release day and I'm picking Lindsay up at the airport. This will literally be the first time I see Lindsay face to face in person. This is probably one of my uh, favorite outfits that, that we got, Lindsay. Kind of stylish and neat. I don't know, hopefully she'll pick this to change into. When I see Lindsay walk off that plane, uh, I'm sure my uh, eyes are gonna, you know, obviously it's been close to two years. You know, every uh, king needs his queen. I have so many things that I'm looking forward to when I'm being released. First off, just seeing Scott and my daughter and being able to hold them and do things with them is super exciting. I feel like me and Scott have a connection that is gonna overcome age. Lindsay and I have discussed marriage many times. She had sent me this picture, and it's a picture of a wedding type engagement ring, and she wrote, hint, hint. So my plan is, is to get married as soon as I can. I'm coming out, like, I want extra clothes and jewelry to kind of make me feel normal. Designer panties. I'm sure Lindsay's gonna look uh, really sexy in these. She had to have the most expensive phone $1,200 or so. Everything, uh, including the phone and her clothes and all of her makeup, uh, we're looking at probably around $2,500 of, uh, you know, expenses that she's going to need for the halfway house. So one of the things I'm concerned about is uh, Lindsay has been in the uh, shoe, which is the secure housing unit. Uh, she's very limited on phone calls, so we were only able to speak for 15 minutes. She gave me uh, her uh, itinerary, and she's taking a flight from California to Atlanta and then to Columbus, Mississippi, where I'll be waiting to pick her up. I hope that that is still what, what's going on and that everything's on schedule. I don't think Lindsay is a troublemaker, and I think trouble finds Lindsay because she is a very beautiful, pretty white young girl. But I'm pretty confident that she does not want to go back to prison and will follow the rules that she needs to follow to stay out of prison. I am usually in trouble while I've been locked up. In seven months, I got eight incident reports for fights and things because I'm really bad at being good. I'm on my way to see Brenda, and, uh, which is Lindsay's mom, and Miley Grace, which is Lindsay's daughter. Brenda is actually Lindsay's grandmother, but she considers her her mom because she is the one who raised her from about six months old. So I actually have a, a great relationship with them. I've known them and seen them since I've been down here. And uh, Miley Grace, I've really enjoyed taking her uh, shopping to get clothes for school. Is there any concern that this is some kind of scam? That Lindsay is scamming you? Absolutely not. She actually invited me to her mother's home for Thanksgiving dinner. Right there, I kind of knew, Lindsay's not sending any Joe Schmo into <laughs> home to her mother and, and daughter uh, if, if she didn't have uh, a good feeling about it. Doesn't matter where you find uh, where you find your soulmate, you could fit me anywhere. So we just happened to meet uh, in a, a little different way. Today, Lindsay is getting out of prison. Brenda, and Miley Grace, Lindsay's mom and daughter, lives about three hours from where I'm at now. We decided to meet halfway and spend some time uh, with Miley Grace on the playground, and we will cover the logistics of the remainder of the day. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. Hello. Miley Grace, high five. <laughs> so have you talked to Lindsay yet? Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully. One of us will get that call today, so. I'm really excited to see my mom because I haven't seen her in so long. I only had like about half of my life with her and I think Scott's a really nice person. The first time I met him, he bought me lots of, of my clothes for my school and everything and I still wear them. He actually bought me these clothes, so he made a very good first impression. Lindsay's flight is supposed to get in 8.15, 8.30. From the airport, we'll head to Tupelo and meet you guys at the halfway house. When Lindsay gets off the plane, 
She has to go to the halfway house in uh, Tupelo for a couple months. I'm a firm believer that Lindsay will abide by the rules. And then she'll come home to the house <laughs> that I got. And we could continue to cultivate our relationship together. So, you excited? I'm really excited. I haven't seen her in over a year, so right. I can't wait. You're glad she's coming home? Mm-hmm. Molly's been mine since Lindsay's been in trouble. Lindsay, she went to school pregnant. She finished our local community college. She got a degree there. But then one day, it just went wrong. She just had another dark side, another life that, that I didn't know anything about, so. I got into drug dealing after I started using meth. I started to sell drugs to just pay for my high. Pretty quickly, it grew into like a substantial more amount than I was even getting through working a regular job. So I didn't go back to college after that summer. Why am I going to college to earn a degree when I'm currently earning $10,000 on a Friday night? It just didn't make sense to me why I should stick on the path that I was currently on. Uh, white shoes, white shoes. Hopefully, the relationship with Scott will help keep her on the straight line because She's missed four years of her daughter growing up. A little push, all right? So you sit down and let me know when you're ready. You ready? Uh-huh. Beat your legs out. Miley Grace's father is in the picture, I believe, as much as he wants to be. Everybody has their own viewpoint on what's a good parent. I know what I consider a good parent. If you would have asked me my biggest accomplishment in life was my son. My son was killed in a car accident back in 2017. There was a single car accident. Connor and his friend were both killed on impact and died at the scene. I was crushed. I mean, that, that was, uh, I was devastated. That Connor was my life for 20 years. It's for you, no one else. I, I won't even do this for your mother, so. I feel this relationship with Lindsay. It was very much a second chance for both Lindsay and I to get our lives back on track, <laughs> become a family. <laughs> After Connor's death, <laughs> I honestly did not know how I was going to get through that, or if I was going to get through that. So I do not want to lose another person that I love. See you tonight, See you tonight. definitely.